students welcome to chemistry class in our last class we looked at carbon monoxide that is carbon two oxide today we are going to look at the trioxocarbonate four salt remember that trioxocarbonate four salt is one of the compounds of carbon that is considered in inorganic chemistry your presenter remains ib christian introduction trioxocarbonate four salt exists in normal salt form called carbonates as well as in acid salt form known as hydrogen carbonate they exist naturally as all or deposits they can as well be formed from acid rain that fall that flow over rocky metal area the interaction of acid rain h2co3 with free metal metallic oxides or dissolved salt leads to the formation of carbonate salt as the equation below illustrates so when acid rain this formula for the acid rain combines with metal like sodium atom this sodium combined with the acid it gives you sodium carbonate and hydrogen gas liberated so that's one of the ways of forming the carbonates then Potassium oxide is another, is another example of metallic oxide that combines with the acid drain to give you potassium carbonate in water. Then magnesium sulfates combine with the acid drain to give you magnesium carbonate and sulfuric acid. Let's look at the soluble and the insoluble carbonates. The carbonate salt of sodium, potassium, and ammonium are soluble. Example is sodium carbonate as you can see here is a formula for sodium carbonates this formula for potassium carbonates and this is the formula for ammonium carbonates this can also be called sodium trioxocarbonate 4 this is potassium trioxocarbonate 4 and this is ammonium trioxocarbonate 4 good now the carbonate of calcium magnesium aluminium zinc copper silver lead are insoluble so these are their respective formulas. This is calcium trioxocarbonate 4. This is magnesium trioxocarbonate 4. This is copper 2 trioxocarbonate 4. This is silver trioxocarbonate 4. This is iron 2 trioxocarbonate 4. This is zinc trioxocarbonate 4. This is silver trioxocarbonate 4. And this is lead trioxocarbonate 4. Now let's look at how these compounds are prepared. The method of preparing trioxocarbonate for salt depends on its solubility. The soluble ones are prepared by reacting carbon dioxide with the corresponding alkali. Alkali are soluble bases. Okay, good. As well as the composition of metallic hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 via heating. So the two methods involve the reaction of soluble bases with carbon dioxide, as you can see. Sodium hydroxide and alkali combining with carbon 4 oxide to give you sodium trioxocarbonate 4 water and carbon dioxide. So that's one of the methods of preparing the compounds in the laboratory. Another way is the composition of sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4. That gives you sodium trioxocarbonate 4 water and carbon dioxide. So it's either by combination with carbon dioxide or by the composition of this acidic salt good now the insoluble ones are prepared by double decomposition reaction we are metallic carbonates or metallic hydrogen carbonate reacts with the corresponding salt solution good example is calcium chloride reacting with sodium trioxocarbonate 4 to give you calcium carbonates and then sodium chloride you can also see it here we are calcium chloride combines with sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 to give you calcium trioxocarbonate 4 and then two molecules of sodium chloride water and carbon dioxide okay now let's look at the solubility of trioxocarbonate 4 most trioxocarbonate 4 salts are insoluble but the soluble ones that is sodium potassium and ammonium dissolves in water to yield hydroxide so as you can see here, this is sodium trioxocarbonate 4. It's soluble in water. So it dissolves in water to give you sodium hydroxide and trioxocarbonate 4 acid. This is potassium trioxocarbonate 4. It's soluble in water. 
dissolving in two molecules of water to give you potassium hydroxide and trioxocarbonate 4 acid. Then this is ammonium trioxocarbonate 4. It's also soluble. It dissolves in water to give you ammonium hydroxide and then trioxocarbonate 4 acid. All right, good. Now let's look at the action of heat on the salts. All trioxocarbonate 4 salt decomposes to liberate carbon 4 oxide, that is CO2, with exemption of sodium, potassium, and barium carbonate. That means it is only potassium, sodium, and barium carbonate that uh, do not decompose on heating. Every other one decompose on heating to give you carbon 4 oxide. Okay, good. Now, the carbonates of calcium, this calcium, CA, calcium, Mg, magnesium, Zn, zinc, Fe, ion, Pb, lead, Cu, copper. So the carbonate of these metals decomposes on heating to form carbon four oxide and corresponding oxides. While silver carbonates decomposes to give metallic silver and carbon four oxide. It's important to note that aluminium carbonate does not exist. So you can see in this reaction now that zinc trioxocarbonate 4 will decompose on heating to give you zinc oxide and carbon 4 oxide. Now, silver carbonate decomposes on heating to give you silver metal, carbon 4 oxide, and oxygen. Then, ammonium trioxocarbonate 4 decomposes on heating to give you ammonia gas, carbon 4 oxide, and water. It's important to take it all this. Let's look at the reaction with dilute acid. All trioxocarbonate 4 salts react with dilute acid to form carbon 4 oxide, water, and salt. And you can see all the equations there. This is sodium carbonate reacting with tetraoxosulfate 6 acid to give you sodium tetraoxosulfate 6 water and carbon dioxide. Same thing with here, zinc carbonate with hydrochloric acid to give you zinc chloride water and carbon dioxide. Same thing with carbon, calcium trioxide 4 with hydrogen chloride to give you calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. Lead, this is a silver carbonate with trioxo nitrate 5 acid to give you silver nitrate, water, and carbon dioxide. Now let's give attention to hydrogen trioxide carbonate 4. This is the salt formed when metal of ammonium radical replaces when metal or ammonium radical order replaces one of the two hydrogen atoms in the trioxocarbonate 4 molecule, they are soluble in water. Calcium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 is responsible for temporal hardness of water. They are prepared by passing carbon 4 oxide through a cold solution of corresponding hydroxide or trioxocarbonate 4. So, as you can see in this reaction now, this is sodium hydroxide reacting with carbon dioxide to give you sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4. You can see this also two molecules of uh, calcium trioxocarbonate 4 combined with carbon 4 oxide and water to give you calcium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4. Finally, all hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 decomposes readily on heating to yield carbon 4 oxide like CO2, water, and trioxocarbonate 4 salt. As you can see in the reaction, when you heat calcium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4, it decomposes to give you calcium carbonate water and carbon dioxide. When you heat calcium, when you heat calcium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4, this potassium, sorry, K is potassium. So when you heat potassium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4, it gives you potassium carbonate plus water and carbon dioxide. If you heat zinc hydrogen carbonate, it gives you zinc carbonate water and carbon dioxide. Thanks for watching. See you in our next, in our next class. Do well to stay safe and as well stay blessed.